What in the world is this? Beautiful. Right, we're just at the local builders merchants. Just getting some bits for today. Um, I will do an introduction to this video, but bear with me. There's the camera. Three bags of sand and one bag of uh, cement. We're bedding the uh, padstones in today to take the steels. And it's just going to get the yard man. We're now in Travis's picking up the padstones. <laughs> I did ring up before. Um, I'm going to go through this, but I'm picking up the padstones. I'll go through what I'm using. Right, morning guys, welcome back to another one. Um, for all the subs that are coming back, welcome back. If you're here just to see the loft video, uh, welcome. So, um, just want to do a little disclaimer first. Um, this job has been six weeks in the build up to it. It's not just a job you can just do the next day. Um, I've had structural calculations done, building control, um, etc. It's all in place now, so we're now at a stage where we can actually get on with this job. Um, the lady we're doing this job for, she knows that we're very, very busy and we're only going to be able to give her one or two days a week. But um, our first rodeo, and it's done lofts, I've done lofts. So um, I just want to say everything on this job is specific for this job. So don't think you can just copy me and use the same steels, the same pad stones, the same timber. You've got to get all the calculations done by the structural guy because every loft is different, every load is different, etc. So... Um, we're going to crack on and I'll see you I'll see you in a bit. Got a 20 pound off voucher. What am I going to go and buy with this? What's he doing? De-icing already? He's only been on the road an hour. Do you think I bought what's in that box? Yes, you guessed it. The little 35 pound Makita Hoover. I got it for 15 pound because I had a 20 pound off voucher. I needed this on Saturday. There we go. Look at that. I'll let you know I'll get on with that. Right, we've arrived. I don't know why I've got the camera on hand. Arrived at the house. We're just going to get in, get uh, get in, get all the gear in. Um, got to move some bits about in the loft first, so I'll probably set you on the laps. So here we go. Right, here we are in the loft. Very dark. Got the bin. So I'll just show you what we're doing. Um, so our pad stones are going to be sat in this wall. We've got three to do this side and two to do that side. And then our steels are going to come through and uh, sit on these pad stones. So first thing we're going to do is mark up and then we can um, start breaking these out and get the pad stones bedded in. But as you can see, I've marked up. So I've got a window downstairs. I can't touch that. So we've got to put two pad stones in this side and then put a steel across the top of the window to take that um, steel that's going to come in here to take the floor. But that's further down the line. So I've now got to take this block out, which finishes on the ceiling line, and that will be a new pad stone in there. The steel will sit in here, uh, no, sorry, around here. So that's the pad stone. The steel is going to be sat in here, then there's going to be a new wall built off here to take the roof. Um, but first things first, we'll get this all broken out and start work on these pad stones. Right, there we go. I have taken out this bottom block. It's where my pad stone is going to be sat. I had to take that block out at the top because I need to be able to get the pad stone in and down. And we have got a sit of steel in here anyway. And then another pad stone um, along here for that steel to sit in. So we're going to, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to crack on, um, get the pad stones bedded in on some sand and cement, um, etc. And then um, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, it's quite hard to see. I've got a little mix of three to one sand and cement in there. I'll go for a sharp sand mix because it gives it a little bit more to sit onto, rather than because pad stones are quite heavy. And it's just bringing, and it's just bringing the other pad stones up. There we go. Got the Christmas tree ready. We're going to put that up in a minute. So we got a little bit of festive goodness up here. So these pad stones are four forties by two one fours by 100 
thick. So let's uh, let's get them bedded in and, and get them in. Amber's doing the other padstone that size. I've just laid some muck, laid some muck in there. I'm now going to sit this padstone on in there. All right, there's the padstone sat in there now. Um, it's nice and level, so I'm now going to fill the edges up with some water. Just literally drop it in down the sides and fill it up. The beauty of this is you can get your hand down the back and fill it up from the back as well. So this is what you end up with, all this. So there's another padstone installed for that steel to run across. That's the second padstone on this one because we've got to put a small steel between those two padstones that we've done. And then we've got to go move that and work through there. So it's going well. Last padstone, well, second from last padstone going in. We've got an eight inch hole there for the steel, and then we're gonna put that padstone in there. And it's got his mask on, as you can see. Health and safety at its best. And his pants are hanging out there. <laughs> he loves working in loft. So where we've knocked this block out, you can see that's the external red brick. This is a war tie that's coming in, so we are, I'm going to just bed that back into my uh, mortar and that will still be intact um, to tie that wall into this one. Well, I've just mucked that last one in and is just breaking this last one out over there. And then we're good to go. Good clear out and we're done for today. There we go. The final pad stone is in. I've just bedded that in nicely in there. So now we've got all five done. Um, can have a little clear out. Yeah, job's going well. Looking forward to this one progressing. Next we're going to be ordering steels and new timbers for the roof. So look out for the next one. What a day, that sun. So that feeling when you've just driven past your house and someone's called you because their shower's not working. So I've got to go to a call out now before I go home. Um, I'm already shattered and dirty, but I'll see you in a minute. Maybe I'll be able to show you inside. So there we go, shower's all fixed. Sticky isolation switch. Um, I never turn it on and off. I told her, look, turn it on and off a few times because it's just stuck in the on position. And because there's quite a lot of load on them, 9.5 kilowatt shower, um, they just go sticky. So she's then turned it on and off and it's not come back on. So I have then took the switch off, uh, cleaned it out, got it working. So I've told her next time it goes wrong, I'm gonna come back and replace the switch. So. 20 minutes work, what would you charge her? Leave me a comment down below. Um, so regarding the loft videos guys, there's more to come. Next one will be steels. It might not be my next video, it might be an electrical video, but if you wanna see more of a loft, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button, and then you'll get the notifications and you can watch what video you want. So take care and I'll see you on the next one.